You may notice the triangular shapes in bridge construction, not only in bridges, also applicable in many constructions designing. Why is the triangular shape included here? If you say it is one of the designs, it is wrong. The triangular shape is also called truss. When any force acts on truss construction, that force will distribute in all elements equally. Generally, if an element span is too much, it will bend while force acts on it, it is called a bending moment. If the bending moment exceeds the material elastic limit, it will cause a break. Truss is used to avoid bending moment and to maintain stabilization. For example, take this bridge, if weight is act through this bridge, this force will try to bend the bridge. If a bridge is constructed by square elements instead of triangle, external force will bend the bridge and it will lead to break. Now, if the bridge is constructed by triangular elements, external force will distribute through elements equally, and also it will convert the bending moment into axial forces. The force which is acting through an axis known as axial force, here, axial force is classified into two. They are tension and compression. The force which compresses the object through its axis is called compression force, as well as the force which pulls out the object through its axis is called tension force. Generally, trusses absorb tension and compression forces, and these will avoid bending moment. Here, a single element is called a web. A number of webs join in a place called a node, and number of nodes make a frame. A term frame suitable for both truss and non-truss elements, and the truss construction can withstand external load also can withstand shakiness due to airflow over the bridge. You may ask a question, can we construct the bridge as a solid element instead of web elements? It is more expensive than actual, and it is impossible to construct due to many factors. Basically, trusses are classified depending on their applications. They are Pratt Truss, Warren Truss, North Light Truss, Sawtooth Truss, and Fink Truss. The main applications of trusses are to construct bridges, roofs of bus stands, railway stations, airports, factory and building roofs, to construct cell phone towers and electricity transmission towers. I hope that you have learned something new today. Are you interested in watching these types of videos? Then don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you!